All right, you guys, why am I back out on my roof? <laughs> uh, still in uniform. Okay, sun's about to go down. This is what I do when I get home from work. What have I got? What do I got? What am I doing? Oh, shit. We got the parabolic grid. All right, so guys, um, I got lucky on this one. They had a refurb on Amazon for 150 bucks. I know they're like 260 something dollars. Dude, I was just getting it up there. I just did a quick little check on decibels. Um, let's see. I dropped eight decibels on the strength. So it went down, which is better. That's what you want. And I was in the way lower on the quality. So when you see a F and speed test, when I dial this in, you guys are going to be blown the hell away. I'm sorry. For those of you that are closer to a tower, these are still, this is still a good option. I might even just take one of those logs and put it on my booster, which is right there. Okay. You don't need a booster for what I'm doing here, guys. Normally we're talking Mimo with two antennas or two cords coming out the bottom. This only has one cord. Okay. I disconnected the other one. All right. It's just dangling here. Um, all right. So let me get to work and button this shit up before it gets dark and dinner's coming. Stay freaking tuned, guys. I know, I know. Hey guys, what's up? Just a quick update. Okay, I got the grid up, the parabolic grid. Um, at first it looked great, sounded great. Um, couple things. First thing, signal, signal strength, right? You know I was getting about negative 115, really poor signal, but we're still getting about 25 to 30 um, download speed maybe one, 1 1.5 in upload. Um, now, upon moving it around and stuff, it's very sensitive on the MoFi, especially if you're watching live time decibels, if you move it left to right, you will totally lose signal. So you gotta be, when you're on the no signal page on the MoFi, um, checking the decibels live, and it says you have no signal, you just gotta move it until you see a signal. I noticed when I took the antenna and moved it up like this, boom. It hit and I was getting like a negative 103, negative 105. Um, really, really great signal strength. Quality, not so great. Uh, still bouncing around between negative, I saw negative 7.9 briefly and then it just shot back up to 10 to 11, negative 11. So that's not gonna cut it guys. That's really kind of slowing down my speeds. Um, so we, we know that this is a better antenna quality wise. So what could I do different that could have possibly made my signal quality better? Okay, well, the MoFi is intended for two antennas, MIMO, right? Well, the manufacturer or the person on Amazon said, hey, you know, one should suffice. I don't think they took into consideration where I live, the vegetation and things like that. So what I did for a quick fix tonight is I decided since I have the other cable still running up to my roof, um, I hooked it back onto the MoFi and plugged in another log periodic, okay? Uh, so I have the log periodic going one way, I have the grid going another way. Actually, it's more like this, it's way up here. Now, is it gonna stay like that? Probably not, um, but dude, my quality went down to a negative eight to a negative 7.6, so it's fluctuating right in there. Um, now I'm getting 30 to 33 down, and I'm getting about three to four up. So that's a huge improvement. If I could keep it like that, I should be good. Now, the other big thing is weather. Let's talk about that. With the log periodics, when it rains, it sticks to the metal, right? It coats the metal like icicles. Basically, that really degrades your signal. Even when it's like, you know, windy bad or, or rainy bad, it's just, it's gone. So that's, that's the whole purpose of getting these decibels as low as I possibly can. So what am I doing to combat that? A, the grid antenna should be weatherproof, so they say. Um, maybe that plastic coating on the feed horn will help it just sloth off. Who knows? So what, what can I do to combat that? Well, I, uh, I got this, um, that's my second grid antenna. Okay. Yes. I have two of them now. Uh, one was a brand new one. One was a refurbished. Uh, the initial thought was to just get one. And the refurbished one was only 150 bucks versus the new one's like 265 and return the new one, the 265 one. But since I have it here, 
<sighs> I'm probably gonna open it up and try it out with the other one. Now, am I gonna put two huge effing dishes on my effing roof? No, uh, it won't work like that. And I don't even think I have enough room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the feed horn, just the horn, not the entire dish, just the, just the part that receives. And I am going to put it up there and put the bracket, slap it on the back of it and put it on the pole. Now let's just hope that that outperforms this log periodic that I got sitting up there because I have a feeling it will. I have a feeling it will. So here's the other thing, guys. So if the grid has way better signal strength, you need better signal quality. And to do that, you gotta have a second antenna, okay? You gotta go back to the MIMO. That's the only way if you're trying to get true and the best internet possible. Now we know that there's configurations with antennas like this and like this and like this and like this. There's all these different ways you can put them. But at the end of the day, if you got them up there, okay, you got two, one's gonna send, one's gonna kind of receive and they're gonna kind of like bounce off each other, okay? Um, so like, for example, like my grids here, my antenna is pointing this way. So, you know, it's, it's, it's play with it. Watch your decibels where you get the strongest signal. Same tower, two different towers, who the hell knows? All I can tell you is that where I have it, is excellent so I need it there and I need to try this other feed horn and we're gonna have fun and hopefully this will be the last time I get on the mother roof all right so I just thought I'd throw this up real quick quick update so if you guys are thinking about antennas the grids man the grids the grids will get you the best quality for your buck um, the guy that did all the videos on YouTube he wasn't lying they are they're powerful um, Definitely way more power than what you're going to see in these, these Yagis or LDPAs, okay? Um, but those are still good. Just depends on how far you are from the tower and how much you're willing to spend and how much time you want to put in this bullshit. Oh, so stay tuned. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to have that crap taken care of and we're going to rock. Peace.